Hi, it's Louise at Spiral Bright Insight, and I'm here to talk about the full moon in Virgo, which is happening on the 24th of February. Now, this is when the moon will be in Virgo with the sun in the opposing sign of Pisces. And this is happening at five degrees, 23 minutes of Virgo, according to Astro Gold. Now, um, before I sort of go into any more depth about this, um, obviously the five and then the 23 combined makes five. So you've got the double five energy here. And the five is sort of the midpoint of the number scale. Five represents change. It represents adventure. It represents a shift. And it is um, the kind of the pivot point where things can... Um, you can think you're going one way and then, you know, there can be a very sudden shift and take to take you on a completely different tra tra trajectory. Um, so uh, it kind of this is the third full moon at five degrees. Um, sorry, the second of three full moons at five degrees. And um, we had the one in January. We've got this one in February and then March's full moon will also be at five. But the double five um, energy coming through the numerology in this full moon just feels really quite significant. And the fact that the moon is an earth moon being in Virgo and um, full moons are always about endings. So, um, you know, we can expect um, there's a completion of something taking place as the full moon comes into, you know, it's the end of its cycle. Um, but because of the five energy, it feels as if, you know, the changes that are taking place are quite um, very tangible and, you know, will make a big, will, will really feel it. Um, because of the earth energy, you know, it is quite solid and lasting change. So, as I um, alluded to, full moons are when the moon comes into exactly um, the oppositional point to the sun. So the sun is in Pisces at the point of this full moon. It is also sitting with Mercury and Saturn. So we've got some really beautiful fixed star galactic energies coming through. And I will get to talk about those shortly. Um, but I wanted to talk about the energies of Virgo first and foremost. Um, so Virgo is the sixth sign of the zodiac. It is an earth sign. It is mutable. And it is ruled by Mercury. So um, there's a real sort of intellectual um, energy coming through Virgo because um, Mercury is all about the mind. It's about the message. It's about the stories we tell ourselves. Now, Virgo and Pisces are actually on the axis of service, with Virgo being more service to the physical realm and Pisces being service to the more spiritual um and the divine realms. And um, so this is very much about pulling sort of our higher selves, our spiritual selves down into the body to become embodied. So it is about embodied spirit um, and the embodiment of our higher selves and those sort of more um, ethereal divine energies. And um, it is very much about bringing spirit down to earth and how that is going to manifest through the energies of this full moon. Now, um, Virgo is a very healing sign and um, it is very much about purification. So there is often an ability if you have strong Virgo in your chart to be able to transmute energies and um, to take lower energies, particularly in the earth realm and to transmute them. And um, there is also a real sense of integrity that comes through Virgo in discernment an ability to sort of be able to tap into truths and know what's real and what is not. And um, there is also a real sense of um, being analytical um, of being able to dig right into the um, the detail and sort of have be very meticulous and ordered and structured with any information that is coming through. So with Virgo, you can sift through lots and lots of lots of facts and information and really kind of get to the nitty gritty and know what's what's going on and what's real and what's not. And there's a real sense of efficiency here. 
So if we are being bombarded with information, which is quite possible because that seems to be, you know, part of the course in our society these days. And um, with this full moon, it's going to be easier to know what is truth and to sort of feel into that. And because this is an earth full moon, there is also a sense of being able to tune in through the body and to sort of use that um, analytical energy, but feel in through the body to know what's real and what's not. And um, as this moon is in the first deacon, because when we have um, 20, well, we have 30 degrees of each sign and um, the first zero to nine degrees falls into the first deacon. So the five degree point is within the first deacon, which makes it a very physical full moon as well, a very physical experience. Now in the opposing, part of the chart we have Pisces and Pisces is very strong at the moment we have Neptune in Pisces we have the Sun now in Pisces sitting with Mercury and Saturn and Pisces energy is very much still about healing but healing the spirit and um, it is about unity it is about compassion it is also about um sort of endings it's now, what's really interesting is that we've got these beautiful fixed stars um, conjunct the three planets um, in Pisces. And these are Fomalhaut, which is one of the royal stars and very linked to Archangel Gabriel, and also Deneb Adige in the Cygnus constellation. Now, um, this is activating because the sun in particular sort of empowers the fixed star that it comes into contact with. But there's also a sense with Mercury um, of, you know, there's very strong messages coming through with this angelic energy. And Saturn is bringing um, a kind of um, authority as well, a mastery, a sense of mastery, and also a sense of responsibility to these beautiful um, fixed star energies. Now, Fomalhaut in particular as I said, is linked to Archangel Gabriel and Gabriel is the messenger. And, you know, this is, it feels as if um, not only do we have this beautiful archangelic support at this time, um, which is really shining a light on the more sort of physical aspects of our healing journey and just to sort of sidestep very briefly we've obviously had the north node chiron conjunction earlier in the week um which you know is a really profound point of healing in our kind of evolution and um, but with this um archangelic fomal halt energy it really feels as if um you know there is there's messages coming through that um, as the moon represents the people in the chart um, that, you know, the sun really wants us to hear these messages and the archangelic realms want us to hear. They want us to be able to tune, to tune into this information and to be able to feel it through the physical. So Fomalhaut is also very closely aligned with Christ consciousness and that beautiful divine frequency. And so, you know, there can be a sense of suffering here. Um, and in this case, it feels like, you know, there's a real strong acknowledgement that there has been suffering and that there is suffering and that almost suffering is part of um our ascension process and part of this journey of being human and um, because you know we often have to feel things in a very physical way through our bodies to be able to really integrate them and to understand them and to be able to process them so it feels you know with this full moon that we are processing an awful lot um of energy of light but we have this light sort of being shone upon us as we do it um, and this is about um sort of helping us to move beyond our wounds through this healing through the north node and chiron um conjunction to be able to then become the healer ourselves and be able to support others so um, it, this is about sort of being able to find the light within ourselves and then as we do so we can help others to do the same so, you know, it is a very beautiful, beautiful energy that's coming through the sun, Saturn and Mercury. Um, and, you know, like I said, there is a message here that we are supposed to hear and that we're supposed to really take notice of and to integrate and to sort of accept. And um, we also have 
the moon. The moon in Virgo is conjunct Thuban in the Draco constellation. So again, we've talked a lot about dragon energy. Um, you know, obviously we are now in the year of the wood dragon and dragon energy is really strong, but it is appearing in this new, this full moon chart as well. Now, um, Thuban is all about sort of helping us to awaken to the truth um, and to feel that truth within us. Um, you know, when you feel truth in your body, um, you kind of certainly if you're empathic and spiritual, you know, we often feel truth in, in a physical way. Um, I kind of describe it as kind of the spiritual shivers, if you like, or the goosebumps. If you sort of hear something that is truth, your kind of body resonates and acknowledges that. And I'm sure, you know, there will be so many people watching this will know exactly what I'm talking about. This is kind of this, this is an opportunity to really tap into that and to feel that through the physical body with this, with this earth full moon. Um, there's also a lot of power, a lot of wisdom coming through with the Thuban and Dragon energy. Um, and also taking us into a kind of state of more neutrality because Thuban helps us to sort of accept that there are there is both light and dark, both good and evil in this world. And this is very much a part of shadow work where we are integrating and learning to integrate sort of the parts of ourselves where we've maybe felt uncomfortable, we've felt shame, we've wanted to turn our backs, hide or, you know, repress the information and the emotions and the truths and this is bringing us or helping us to come back to a point of more neutrality which is where the deep healing can happen and of course as well in the chart you know we have Mars is conjunct Venus and I am um, we'll do a separate video about that because that is a really important energy happening in the same week as this full moon and um, but this is about balancing the masculine and the feminine energies as well um and with those particular planets in a square to Jupiter you know this is about pushing for growth but in a very tangible way because Jupiter in Taurus wants us to expand wants us to learn wants us to grow but through Taurus it's like this change this growth this expansion is going to be very real and very long lasting it's going to affect what we value and what we appreciate in life through the Taurus energies. And so, you know, really very beautiful energy. And I'll just make one final observation in that Jupiter is in an opposition to a crux in the crux constellation. Now, this star is very linked to enlightenment, sort of higher knowledge, higher consciousness. But there's also a sense of sacrifice here with the cross, um, you know, sort of bringing us back to, um, again, sort of themes of Christ, which we've already got in this full moon chart through the um, Fommelholt conjunction but it is um as if you know we are being um or there is an an, an acknowledgement that we have had to and are still to sacrifice a great deal in order to kind of be here and um, to be human to kind of follow through this ascension pro pro um, cess that we are part of um, and that you know it does take dedication we need tenacity we need to be um we need perseverance we need patience that you know growth does take time but there is this kind of um yeah just a, an acknowledgement that you know we have been through an awful lot and um you know that it is part of the sacrifices that we are making but that it will be worth it in the long run and in the end and um, so a really really beautiful full moon this month um you know some real deep healing um opportunities available to us all and um yeah very very angelic energies coming through as well which um you know is we all, we all need that right at this time, I think, you yeah, know, it's not easy. So I hope you found that interesting and useful. Apologies for the dog barking in the middle. Um, if you want to sign up for my newsletter, I send a monthly newsletter out. You can do that on my website. If you're interested in any of the readings that I offer, um, find out 
um, all about that on my website. So that's spiralbright.co.uk. And um, yeah, thank you so much for being here. I truly do appreciate it. So have an amazing weekend and week. Mm -hmm.